Hello! Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about volumes and how we can use integrals to compute volumes. Traditionally, we think about integrals as being areas under the curve, but actually we can do so much more with them. The idea of an integral basically is that we can get an object, chop it into pieces, and then put those pieces back together. And we can use this in order to compute volumes. This is what we call Cavalieri's principle. Imagine that you have an object and then you slice it into tiny pieces. If we compute the, the volume of each of these pieces and then put these pieces together, we can get back the whole volume. We can do this, for example, uh, with objects of revolution. Think about a tank or a bowl that has circular symmetry. By doing this, we can actually exploit the symmetry of the object and then compute the volume in a very simple way. One of the applications of this is in order to compute capacity of water tanks or the capacity of a bowl in design process, basically. So we don't have to do trial and error, but actually in the design, we can know how, how much water is going to take, how much gas is going to take, or how much volume can, can it hold. So that's a very nice application for this.